Welcome back. We started learning how to use the graph of a quadratic function to find the solution of another quadratic equation in the previous video. We learned how to use the graph to find the solution of a quadratic equation when the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is the same as the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the graph to find the solution of a quadratic equation when the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is different from the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function. So let's go back to our example. Let's say that we draw the graph of the function y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 on the graph sheet. Then after that, we are asked to use the graph to find the solution of the equation 3 minus x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. As you can clearly see, we did not get this equation by equating the function to zero. The quadratic expression we have in the function is different from the quadratic expression we have in the equation. The quadratic expression in the function is x squared plus x minus 6. The quadratic expression in the equation is 3 minus x squared minus 2x. We have learned that to find the solution of such a quadratic equation using the graph, the first thing you have to do is to compare the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation to the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function. The quadratic term is the squared term. As we can see, the quadratic term in the function is x squared. The quadratic term in the equation is minus x squared. So the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is 1. But the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is minus 1. 1 and minus 1 are different numbers. So the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is 1. The coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is minus 1. So unlike the previous example, where the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function were the same, in this example, the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function are different. How do we use the graph to find the solution of such an equation? Let's learn how to do that. If the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is different from the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation, that is, if we have an example like this, what do we do? Multiply the equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in both the function and the equation will be the same. So let me go over that point again. If the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is different from the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation, multiply the equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in both the function and the equation will be the same. So this point is telling us that if we, after drawing the graph of a quadratic function like this, for example, so after drawing the graph of the function y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6, and we are asked to use your graph to find the solution of a quadratic equation like 3 minus x squared minus 2x equal to 0, where the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function and the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation are different, you have to multiply the equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in both the function and the equation will be the same. The coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation here is minus 1. So this point is telling us that we have to multiply this equa whole equation we have to multiply this whole equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation will be the same as the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function. So the whole idea is that we want to make the quadratic term in both the equation and the function the same. We want the quadratic term in the equation and the quadratic term in the function to have the same coefficient. So if they are not the same, then multiply the quadratic equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the function will be the same.
So what you are going to do here is that you are going to multiply this equation by a constant such that negative 1, which is the coefficient of the quadratic term in this equation, will become 1 because the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is 1. So you want to make sure that x squared and s squared in both the equation and the function have the same coefficient. So you ask yourself, what number should we multiply by negative 1 such that we will change it to 1 because we want to make sure that s squared here and s squared here have the same coefficient. But s squared here is having a coefficient of minus 1. So we have to multiply minus 1 by a number such that it will become 1. You can clearly see that it is minus 1 because if you multiply minus 1 by minus 1, we are going to get 1. So what we will do is that we will multiply this whole equation by minus 1. Because if you multiply the whole equation by minus 1, then the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation will now change to 1. So I hope you get the idea clearly. The whole idea behind what we are doing is to make sure that the quadratic term in both the equation and the function have the same coefficient. We can't do anything about the function because we have already drawn that on the graph sheet. So what we can do is that we will multiply the equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in both the equation and the function will be the same. Here, the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is minus 1, and the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is 1. So we have to multiply minus 1 by a number such that we will change it to 1. And that number will be minus 1, because minus 1 times minus 1 gives us 1. So after getting that number, or that constant, you will multiply the whole equation by the constant. So here, we will multiply this whole equation, which is 3 minus x squared minus 2x is equal to 0, by minus 1. So you multiply the left-hand side by minus 1, and you multiply the right-hand side by minus 1. Remember, we have a trinomial here, so we have to make sure that we put the trinomial in a bracket. The constant is minus 1. So you have minus 1 times 3 minus x squared minus 2x is equal to, then you have minus 1 times 0. Minus 1 times 3 will give us minus 3. Minus 1 times minus x squared will give us positive x squared. Minus 1 times minus 2x will give us 2x. Then minus 1 times 0 will give us 0. So you can see that now we have an equation where the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is 1. So the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is now 1. And the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function is also 1. What do we do next? Subtract the resulting quadratic equation from the function. So after multiplying the quadratic equation by a constant, such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function will be the same, you subtract the resulting quadratic equation from the function. After multiplying this equation by the constant, this is the quadratic equation we have. So this is the resulting quadratic equation. Minus 3 plus x squared plus 2x is equal to 0. This point is telling us that we have to subtract this equation from the function. So we are going to subtract minus 3 plus x squared plus 2x is equal to 0 from the function, which is y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. So let's write the function first. y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. Then we will write the equation. I will arrange the equation in the same way as the function. So I will bring 0 on the left hand side. So we have 0 is equal to, in the function, we have the square term first. So I write the square term in the equation first. We have x squared. In the function, we have the x term as the second term. So in the equation, I write the x term as the second term. The x term is 2x. So we have 2x. Then in the function, we have the constant as the last term, which is minus 6. So here, I'll write the constant, which is minus 3, as the last term. So I have 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. The point is saying that we should subtract this quadratic equation from the function.
So we are going to subtract the quadratic equation. So we are going to subtract the quadratic equation from the function. We did a similar thing in the previous video. So we have y minus 0 is equal to x squared minus x squared plus x minus 2x minus 6 minus minus 3. And this will give us y is equal to x squared and x squared will be gone because you have x squared minus x squared, which is 0. Then x minus 2x will give us minus x minus 6 plus 3 will give us minus 3. So we have y is equal to minus x minus 3. After subtracting the quadratic equation from the quadratic function, we are having a linear function, which is y is equal to minus x minus 3. What do we do next? Draw the graph of the resulting linear function on the same graph sheet. So we are going to draw the graph of this linear function, which is y is equal to minus x minus 3. On the same graph sheet as the quadratic function, y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. We have already learned how to draw the graph of a linear function on a graph sheet. So let's say that after finding those two points that fall on the straight line, the first one falls here and the second one falls here. We will join these two points with a straight line to get the graph of the function y is equal to minus x minus 3. How do we use this graph to find the solution of the quadratic equation? The solution of the quadratic equation is the s coordinates of the points of intersection of the two graphs. So the solution of the quadratic equation 3 minus x squared minus 2x is equal to 0 are the s coordinates of the points of intersection of the straight line and the curve. The first point of intersection is here and the second point of intersection is here. We are saying that the solution of this quadratic equation are the s coordinates of these points of intersection. So to get the first solution, you trace the first point to the x-axis. And to get the second solution, you trace the second point to the x-axis. Let's say that the first solution is x1 and the second solution is x2. So the solution of this quadratic equation will be x1, x2, which are the s-coordinates of the points of intersection of the straight line and the quadratic curve. So this is how to find the solution of the quadratic equation. When the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the function are different. In the previous video, we learned how to find the solution when the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the function are the same. In this video, we have learned how to find the solution when the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation and the function are different. From the previous video and this video, we have learned that to use the graph of a quadratic function to find the solution of another quadratic equation, the first thing you have to do is to compare the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation to the function. If they are the same, you subtract the equation from the function. That will give you a linear function. You then draw the graph of that linear function on the graph sheet. The solution of the equation are the s coordinates of the points of intersection of the straight line and the quadratic curve. If the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation is different from the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function, then you will have to multiply the equation by a constant such that the coefficient of the quadratic term in the equation will be the same as the coefficient of the quadratic term in the function. After you have multiplied the equation by that constant, you will then subtract the new equation or the resulting equation from the function. You get a linear function. You draw the graph of that linear function on the same graph sheet as the quadratic function. The solution of the quadratic equation will be the s coordinates of the points of intersection of the straight line and the quadratic curve. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to apply what you have studied in the previous video and this video to solve some questions. Bye-bye.